Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai or Kia guys with a GDI engine. It could be any GDI engine. So if you have one and you hear a noise, a rattle on cold starts for a few seconds, then it goes away. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. And if you don't fix it guys, you may wave bye bye to your engine guys and you may spend thousands of dollars to fix it. So stay with us and we'll explain what it is and why it's important to fix it on time. We're demonstrating on a 2.4 GDI engine, but multiple GDI engines will use that design and we'll talk about that as we go. Before we start let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return guys please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. If you need to buy any parts, tools, anything for your Hyundai and Kia for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get them from so this is guys a GDI engine so if it develops a cold okay uh, so like a rattle noise on a cold start for a few seconds goes away what can cause that as you can see that GDI engine and most GDI engines they will be timing chain driven nowadays timing chain you have a dual a dual variable timing one on the exhaust camshaft one on the intake camshaft this is your crankshaft this right here is your oil pump guys that's driven by timing chain as well now the problem with the cold rattle okay that you hear for one two three seconds and it then goes away uh, and let's say you start the car immediately and it's not there anymore but you let the car sit overnight and the next morning you start and you hear that rattle again or you park it let it sit for a few hours and you hear that rattle again what causes that guys check out that's the timing chain components here if you look at that one this is the main timing chain tensioner for the main chain this is the timing chain tensioner for the oil pump which is just spring loaded because there is nothing here just one little oil pump but right here you need to have quite a bit of tension on the chain because that crankshaft is actually turning the camshafts which are quite heavy as well so you have that tensioner guys that tensioner is hydraulic tensioner what that means it means that when you start the car engine oil will build uh, pressure okay it will come to here and it will expand the uh, the tensioner but when you turn the car off there is a tube mechanical tube that prevents the tensioner from going back now uh, sometimes on higher mileage vehicles that tube will get wore out and what will happen in that case guys okay what will happen when the tube gets wore out okay Yo, okay, let me just go ahead. Okay, I need to get somebody to come hold the camera for a second. Okay, just like that. I'm going to simulate the wore out tooth. Okay, what will happen? That tooth will be so wore out. Okay, that it will be like that. It will be skipping. The teeth will be wore out here. And when you park the car, okay, the oil pressure will decrease and your pump, uh, your tensioner will go in. As a result, the chain will be loose. That will cause the rattle and practically you can skip uh, you can jump the chain and you can damage the engine to the point that you have to rebuild it or replace it you can see that tube will not be holding the purpose of that tube guys okay will be to actually you can see hold like that okay you can hear the clicks okay and not to let it come back in uh, but in our case okay you can see it's good but uh, we had one that was just wore out to the point that it wasn't holding good so i would recommend to replace the tensioner but not just the tensioner you need to replace the whole timing chain assembly in my opinion because most people nowadays think okay timing chain that's a lifetime deal yeah lifetime until your engine craps on you guys so uh, what I recommend, okay, don't trust that uh, stuff, do your research on BMWs for instance now, the timing chain, uh, the tensioner guide fails at about 70-80,000 miles. Uh, if that vehicle was mine, I'll replace it anywhere between 60 and 100,000 miles depending if it's highway miles, if it's city miles and all that stuff. Uh, but the chain, it's thin chain you can see, they can stretch as well. Uh, and uh, those chains, okay that chain is actually uh, turning quite heavy camshafts with variable timing sprockets that are heavy as well and that can cause wear to the parts as well always replace the timing chain guides as well the complete video will be on our channel how to replace timing chain on Hyundai Kia 2.4 GDI engine check it out thank you for watching and see you next time